Hey guys, Courtney here with another Wellness Wednesday yoga class designed to de-stress and get you moving. So go ahead, hop into something comfy, maybe pop on some tunes, and we'll go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and begin in our easy seated position, crisscross applesauce, as some people call it. We'll go ahead and sit up nice and tall, maybe wiggling into it. Eyes might shut as we just take a moment to check inward, noticing any tension or stress. We're leaving it behind us and just focusing on our presence right now. For on our yoga mat, just focusing on this time that we have on this mat or in our living room or wherever we're at today. Just noticing the body, the breath, eyes shut, shoulders relax, noticing the gentle rise and fall of our chest as we breathe in. And out, in, and out, in, and out. We're going to go ahead and get started by rolling over the top of those knees and into a nice child's pose. And our child's pose, our big toes to come together, knees come out to the sides of the mat, if you have one. And we're just going to shift that tailbone back, so keeping it in extended child's pose. So arms are extended, forehead can rest on the mat. If this is uncomfortable, you can modify however is best for you, maybe with a block or a book underneath the forehead. You can take a moment Noticing a nice gentle stretch here, maybe wiggling side to side if those hips are tight. You might rock the forehead side to side. Just checking in the body, the breath, maybe ignoring any distractions that might be with you at home. We breathe in and out, in and out. We'll go ahead and walk those hands to the right side of the mat. Just a nice side body stretch here in that child's pose, finding a nice long line with that left side of the body as you reach up and over towards that right corner of the mat. You might walk back to center and then reaching up and over to the left side, finding a nice long line from that right side to the top corner of the mat. Nice side body stretch. And coming back to center, we'll shift our weight forward, coming into our tabletop position. In our tabletop, we have a nice, solid base here, wrists underneath elbows, elbows underneath shoulders, knees are underneath the hips here. And on your next inhale, we can drop the belly, tailbone raises, head raises for our cat pose. Exhaling, rounding the back, tucking that tailbone under. Cow, inhaling cat, exhaling cow, inhale cat, exhale cow. So continue to move at your own pace, moving between these two poses. If you have just a few moments in your day, this, these two poses are some of my favorites to de-stress and give my back a little love when life gets crazy and stressful. Even just doing yoga for two minutes 
or take a moment to check in with the body and the breath are so beneficial. You might freestyle a bit with these poses, maybe shifting hips side to side, maybe forward back, working out their shoulders as you move between the two poses. Finding what feels good for you today. Now when you're ready, we'll meet back in that tabletop position. If wrists are tight, we might give them a quick rotation here. If you're not used to being on them, it can sometimes be nice to give them an extra stretch to balance things out. And we'll go ahead and work out any stress we have in our shoulders with our thread and needle pose. In our thread and needle pose, we're going to go ahead and begin with our right arm, reaching it up and out towards the sky, opening up the chest, finding a nice long stretch here, inhaling nice and long, opening up that body. On our exhale, we're just going to pulse, threading, like we're threading eye of a needle in between that resting left arm and leg, just hovering for a second, inhaling up and back, finding nice expansion here with the breath as we breathe in, exhaling, pulsing, reaching through, inhaling up and back, exhaling, pulsing through. This time when we come here, we'll go ahead and lower back down onto the shoulder resting the head, allowing a strain on the back of the neck as we do so. And this thread of the needle pose is a nice stretch for the shoulders if they're tight. If you're like me and you hold a lot of tension there. In this pose, you might keep that left hand down for support, or you might reach it around the back towards the top of the opposite thigh, coming into a bind listening to whatever is best for your body today as we breathe in and out. In and out. In and out, resting that left arm back down onto the mat and pushing down with that left hand We'll reach the right arm up and back towards the sky. Nice side body stretch opening up one last time. And back down onto the mat, meeting back in our tabletop. Since we probably feel a little imbalanced now, we'll go ahead and do the opposite side, reaching the left arm up and back towards the sky, opening up that chest. Exhaling, pulsing that left arm through, threading that needle reaching. Inhaling up and back. Exhaling, pulsing through. Inhale up and back. One last time, reaching through, coming to rest for a nice shoulder stretch here, placing no strain on the back of the neck. Noticing that nice, gentle stretch here, either keeping that hand down for support or reaching up and around the back towards the top of the thigh for a bind, whatever is best for you. You might keep it down there for support or you might add that bind as we breathe in and out, in and out, in and out. If you're in the bind, you'll go ahead and place your right hand back down onto the mat. And everybody pushing down off that mat will meet back up onto a nice seated position. Maybe wiggling into it, just checking in after a nice shoulder stretch and giving a quick rotation of those shoulders. We'll add a little yogi stretch for the feet, tucking the toes under. Just Sit slightly back, allowing a nice gentle stretch in the bottom of the of the feet. If this is too much, you can always sit with your feet flat. We're just checking in as we breathe in 
and out. Again. And out. In and out, sitting up, flipping those feet back where they were. We'll go ahead and work out the neck with a nice way to be tech neck. Um, a little funny, but we'll go ahead and do it. Bringing in, we'll make a big double chin. And then stretching out the neck nice and long. We'll bring the bottom teeth over the top making almost a bulldog face with a long neck. Coming back in, double chin. Coming back out, bulldog face. One more time, double chin. And back out. And then leaning back, nice natural neck. We're going to do three wonderful cleansing lion's breath. If you're new to lion's breath, we're going to breathe in all frustrations, stress, anything holding us back. And then we're going to let it go, sticking our tongue out nice and long. <sighs> Breathing in and out. <sighs> in. Biggest exhale out. And then meeting back in a nice tabletop position. We'll go ahead, kicking back the right leg nice and long. You might point, flex the foot, rotate out the ankle, whatever feels best. And we'll just add a little crunch in towards the belly on an exhale. Inhaling out nice and long, that right leg nice and long. Exhaling, little crunch. One more time long, one more time crunch, and coming back down to the mat. Left leg will kick back out, this time nice and long, maybe pointing, flexing the foot, and we'll add a little crunch for this as well on our next exhale. Inhaling nice and long, exhaling crunch, Inhale, long, exhale, crunch. Coming back down to the mat, toes tuck under, we'll lift with our legs, downward dog. And our downward dog pose our heels, push towards the back edge of the mat, we're making an upside down V with the body, keeping space between those ears and those shoulders, really pushing up and out with those fingertips, not collapsing into our wrists. Enjoying a nice, gentle stretch in the back of the legs. Everybody's downward dog might look slightly different. You might pulse, you might pedal out those dogs. You might just have a slight gentle bend in those knees. Whatever is best for you as we breathe in and out. In and out. In and out. We'll go ahead and just lower those knees back down to the mat and come down onto our forearms for a variation on our puppy. Maybe walking those knees slightly back and shifting those hips back to allow the shoulders to relax. Forehead might rest on the mat, or you might add a book, a blanket. We just check in, body, the breath. Breathe in and out. In and out. In. And now shifting our weight slightly forward, coming onto those forearms and then back up onto those hands, meeting in a nice tabletop, maybe taking some quick pat pats. And we'll go ahead and swing those knees around, meeting back into a seated position. This time, with our knees tucked up and 
we'll go ahead and give our knees a nice little hug, inhaling nice and tall. Exhaling, we can round the back. Inhaling tall. Exhaling, rounding the back. Inhaling tall. Exhaling, rounding the back. Inhale tall. Exhale, round the back. Then coming to a nice natural spine. We'll allow our legs to fall out to our sides. Coming into a butterfly position, soles of the feet together. Legs about 90 degrees if that's best for you. Depending on what type of stretch you like today, those feet might be in closer to the body. It might be farther out. And sitting up nice and tall, we'll go ahead and hinging at those hips, lowering down nose towards toes. Nice butterfly forward fold. Keeping a nice long crown as we do so. Hinging at those hips as we breathe in and out. In and out. In and out. Sitting back up nice and tall, we might flutter our butterfly wings. Nice little counter stretch. And then meeting back with those legs down on the mat, stopping our fluttering. We'll hinge down once more, maybe hinging just a bit further than before. And sitting back up nice and tall. We'll go ahead and extend our right leg nice and long in front of us on the mat. Maybe bringing the sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh. And sitting up nice and tall, we'll hinge at those hips, lowering down, nose towards knees, finding a nice long crown of the head before releasing for a one-legged forward fold as we breathe in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Sitting back up nice and tall. We'll go ahead, placing the right hand on the outside of the left thigh. We'll place the left hand behind us as we look over that left shoulder, just a nice gentle twist, easing into it. We're not cranking the body, not leaning back and moving it, the body into an unnatural position. Just a nice gentle twist, looking over the left shoulder as we breathe in and out. In and out. In and out. Returning the body out of the twist. We'll go ahead and extend opposite side long. Left leg extended, right foot comes to the inside of the thigh. And we'll do our nice long legged forward fold walking ourselves down, hinging at those hips, only going as far as is comfortable, meeting your body where it's at today as we breathe in and out. In and out. In and out. Sitting back up nice and tall. On your exhale, place your right hand on the outside of the right 
Left hand on the outside, right thigh, right hand behind you. Look over that right shoulder. Nice, gentle twist. We're not cranking the body. Just coming into whatever type of twist is most comfortable for you as we breathe in and out. In and out. In. And out, gently coming out of our twist, extending both legs forward, maybe walking yourself a little bit taller, moving the fleshy part of the box slightly back, and sitting up nice and tall, we'll hinge at the hips, long forward fold. So hinging nice and long, we'll come down, keeping the crown of the head nice and long, meeting your body where it's at, Leading at whatever level of flexibility we're feeling today. Remembering in yoga, there's no competition or judgment, even with ourselves as we breathe in and out. In and out. In and out. Gently walking back. Up, sitting up nice and tall and we'll go ahead and give ourselves a nice hug hugging that right arm over the top left arm under the bottom giving ourselves a nice hug maybe a quick massage of the shoulders if they need it opposite side inhaling nice and long Nice and wide, nice expansion of the chest, exhaling, crossing the left arm over the top, giving ourselves a quick hug, nice massage for the shoulders. And then releasing, we'll lean ourselves slightly back, finding a slight bend of the knees as we do so. And as we lean back, We'll go ahead and extend our arms nice and long, coming into our boat pose. A little bit of heat for our practice, lifting those feet slightly up off the mat, arms extended. We're beginning to engage the belly, beginning to generate some heat as we do so. You might keep a nice solid boat here, or you might extend those legs nice and long. You might lean further back. You might keep it nice and solid, keeping nice, tight ship shaped boat <laughs> whatever type of boat you're feeling today just rocking it challenging yourself as we breathe in and out in and out in and out gently lowering those feet back down onto the mat and we'll walk ourselves onto our backs. On our back. We're going to just extend our arms out to our sides like a T and gently windshield wiper. Those knees side to side. Nice gentle twist here. Maybe giving a nice massage in the lower back as we do so. We'll bring the knees back to the center of the mat. Hands can come to rest on the mat beside the body. We're walking those soles of the feet closer in towards the body. We'll get ready for a bridge raise pose, lifting those hips up towards the sky, pushing down with those feet, reaching those hips up extending bridge raise, placing no strain on the back or the neck as we do so, as we breathe in and out, in and out, in and out, gently lowering back down, maybe giving a quick windshield wiper side to side. Bringing those knees back to center. One last bridge raise pose. 
pushing down nice energy from the soles of the feet as we push up towards the sky feel a strain on the back of the neck we reach those hips maybe just a bit higher maybe interlacing fingers pushing them down on the mat as we raise those hips up towards the sky and then gently lower back down one vertebrae at a time back down onto the mat maybe giving one last windshield wiper side to side and then coming back to center go ahead extending arms and legs long for one final stretch before our final resting pose shavasana when you're ready we'll come into our shavasana our corpse pose maybe wiggling adjusting as we do so you might grab sweatshirt, a pair of socks, a blanket, maybe you'd like a bolster or a pillow. Just coming into whatever position is most comfortable for you today, allowing the body to relax into the mat. So we breathe in and out. In. And out in and out allowing the feet to fall apart legs relaxing noticing the small of the back melt into the mat below the gentle rise and fall of the chest your body relaxes, your mind will as well. Fingertips are soft. Shoulders and mind fall back at peace. Notice the gentle rise and fall of your chest as you breathe in and out. In and out. Might stay in Shavasana for longer. Maybe pausing the video, taking time to spend with yourself in this pose. But if you're ready to get moving with your day, you might inhale arms nice and long. Maybe rotating wrists, ankles, maybe saying hi to your cat or dog who might be joining you during this practice. And tucking the knees up towards the belly, we'll go ahead and roll to one side. Using arms for support, we'll meet back in our crisscross, applesauce easy seated position whatever is most comfortable for you thank you for sharing your practice with me today i hope you have a great rest of your day namaste thanks guys see you next time